Linda Trockel, I hope I'm saying your name right, Linda. She says, I live in Washington State with mail-in voting. How can I make a difference in a small town in the mountains to get them to change that I have written to the candidates in the Republican Party? Is there any hope? It's a good question. You know, uh, somebody you should you should get in touch with it's, that's in your neck of the woods, as it were, is the Greater Idaho uh, Movement. Um, I don't think they're on Facebook anymore, but you can go to their website. And so they're in Oregon, obviously, uh, but they're 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 not too far away from you just regionally and see what what they would suggest of uh, of networks you can be a part of. So right now you're feeling I mean, what you're feeling like is you're feeling alone. You're feeling like, you know, nothing. No one's doing anything. The first step. This is why we, we encourage everyone to join our insiders club. The first step is you got to feel empowered with a network, a group of people who are doing things, because that way you're sharing the burden, uh, as it were, you know, you, you've got the uh, division of labor. Um, so uh, see if they have any recommendations of some organizations you can get involved in in Washington state. Have you heard about what's happening to Amos Miller? Yeah, the, the, the Amish farmer. Yeah, in Pennsylvania. So yeah, so the feds, are are raiding his farm because uh, they're worried he's going to poison you with, I believe, his milk products or just his just his overall uh, poultry or or whatever uh, agriculture. Milk, I think. Yeah, whatever he's pr producing there. And again, it's just the, it's the federal government telling uh, uh, farmers who are far more competent than the federal government. It's just they're making an example out of him to scare other Amish. All they're doing in the end are causing more Amish to vote Republican. That's it. And get more politically involved. But in but in the meantime, yes, he's he's going to he'll probably end up having to pay for it with his farm. We'll see. I mean there's a I think there's a crowdfunding uh, source for him. And uh Robert Barnes I think is uh, involved uh with his uh, legal defense. So keep uh, abreast of what Robert Barnes is do is doing. David Turner says it doesn't seem to matter who gets in. The wealthy always seem to win. Yeah. Well, we have the, we have studies to to to, uh, to confirm that, to corroborate that. A Princeton study over the course of, I think, 20 years found that is the consistent thing. Now, th that does that is what makes Trump so exciting. Uh, the the uh, the political class love open borders. They're post-American. Remember, they run the world. That's why they're concerned more about what's happening in borders 10,000 miles away from us than our own. As, as, this is why, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, sorry, I mean, this is where the China, you know, China's trying to take over the world kind of mentality even seeps into the right. Um, we, we think we run the world. And, um, and that's because in many respects we did. Um, we, we post-World War II, we, we created the world systems with the WTO, the IMF, the World Bank. Communism had its own sphere, it had its own space, but it, it couldn't compete anywhere near the uh, GDPs that we were able to produce in, in our in our sphere, in our, our space. 1991 happened, Soviet Union collapses, and we take over the world. Um, that's where you know Francis Fukuyama called it the end of history. You know, we took over the world. And the and the wealthy. Which, who are particularly American, um, but also the WEF, the Davos crowd, and the and the Brussels crowd, uh, they have become uh, increasingly an, um, post nationalist, and so they see borders as impediments and hindrances. Trump got in, and he's the first one in, of of our presidents who said, "Enough, we're putting up borders, putting up boundaries. We're going to be nationalists and populists." I'm going to represent the values, interests, concerns of rural folk and uh, and uh, so-called rust belts. And we're going to celebrate our culture. We're going to preserve our civilization. And we're going to put our economy at the service of the nation. So we're going to add, bring in economic nationalism. So he really did upset the apple cart. And, and so it is no coincidence that it is the oligarchical establishment that wants him gone. Now, ironically, we needed somebody from that world, a, bil a brash billionaire, who never, by the way, was never very comfortable in that world. That's very clear. Trump is, they called him the the billionaire, the blue collar bil billionaire. He just, 
he he would much rather hang out with with the um, you know, with the contractors and the workers than, than with a bunch of other billionaires. He doesn't, he doesn't particularly like them. He never fit in with them and he doesn't really care for them. He made his own money, his own way. And he, and he didn't, he didn't play the, the Mark Cuban game or any of these uh, stupid, stupid idiots uh, who uh, were all in the DEI and you know, wokeness and the like. So he, he just has no love for it. So, so that's why, you know, there is a real chance we can start. We're always going to have, like we've talked about, an aristocratic class, right? That's just, there's just no way uh, around that. You're always going to have an aristocratic class. You're always going to have those who, who make it to the top, even in a socialist system. You're always going to have that. But you want to have like what Putin was effectively has effectively done in Russia. You're going to want to make sure that that oligarchical aristocratic class is working for the good of the nation. We saw that with with, you know, it's the Pareto principle. You're always going to have your one percent, your two percent that rise to the top. But, you know, if you look in a lot of our cities today in the United States, particularly on the East Coast, uh, and in the South, you're going to see some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful churches. You're going to see some beautiful museum buildings. We're talking Gothic architecture, just um, immaculate, you know, uh, uh, stained glass window design, you name it. Those were pretty much all funded by our aristocracy, the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, uh, you, you name it. We had the, the DuPonts here and in uh, Delaware that created a beautiful uh, Longwood Gardens, like a thousand acres of some of the most, again, just a, a gorgeous um, uh, horticulture that you could imagine seeing. Our oligarchs today care nothing about culture. They care nothing about tradition. They care nothing about bettering and beautifying our society. Nothing. They care only about ruling and that's one of the key differences between the wealthy today and the wealthy of the past. We have to restore a, a conscientious uh, wealth, you know, uh, aristocratic uh, class um, that is humble and that seeks to serve and, and, and foster a vibrant culture rather than seeks to rule. Gang, I got to tell you, I was utterly shocked when I was recently shown just how easy it is to access the deed to my house and not just access it, but change it. I mean, if you don't know, the deed to your home is the only document that proves you own it. But the problem is, is that the deeds to all our homes are now online and criminals are free to find our deeds, forge our signatures, refile as the new owner of our homes, take out tons of loans using our home's equity, and then stick us with the debt. And by the way, if you think homeowners insurance is going to bail you out, you got another thing coming. But that's where our good friends over at Home Title Lock come in. Gang, they're absolutely amazing. Home Title Lock gives you the peace of mind that the deed to your home is absolutely and completely protected. Click on that link below right now and use promo code Turley Talks. Then all you have to do is enter your address for your no obligation home title scan to see if you've already been a victim of deed theft. I mean, that's a hundred dollar value, absolutely and totally free if you use my promo code Turley Talks. Gang, don't wait for the worst to happen, only to regret that you didn't do something about it when you could have. Click on that link below right now and secure your home today. I hope you enjoyed that clip of my Monday night Insiders Club live stream. Join us live next week by clicking on the link in the description below and joining the coalition of patriots worldwide, building a parallel economy to return to our roots of faith, family, and freedom. Click below right now.